The UK's health minister Nadeem Dorries has now tested positive for coronavirus. The development has sparked fears of COVID-19 spreading to Westminster and 10 Downing Street. Dorries has become the first MP in the UK to contract the disease. The health minister is in self-isolation. In a statement, Dorries said that while she is doing fine, she is worried about her 84-year-old mother who may have contracted the disease. The news has sparked debates on whether the parliament should remain open amid the outbreak. How Doris contaminate, got contaminated, uh, in fact contracted the disease is not known yet. It is uh, believed that she did not travel to any virus hotspots recently. However, the minister came into contact with hundreds of people last week. In fact, she even met with Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Doris was at the Women's Day event at 10 Downing Street which was attended by several figure heads. Attempts are now being made to identify all the people that the Bedfordshire MP came in contact with. Some are even calling on Prime Minister Johnson to get tested. The coronavirus death toll in the UK has risen to six now with at least uh, with uh, a number of confirmed cases. We're now joined in live by our London Bureau Chief, Mandy Clark, who's joining us for more on that. Mandy, first up, what's the latest that you've been able to gather as far as the health minister's condition is concerned? Well, what we, we've that's just been breaking is that another UK MP uh, has tested positive for the coronavirus. That name has not been released yet. The worry is that uh, Nadine did uh, vote twice last week. That means that she was in the House of Commons uh, and uh, there is a big worry that, uh, although they expected some other MPs to be affected, she would have been surrounded by hundreds of other MPs. Now, there are calls for Parliament to be shut down completely and be, to have a deep clean. Uh, it's unclear what will happen next, but certainly with the news of another MP that had been stricken by the coronavirus, there will be deep concerns. What we have also seen is um, a university... College London professor has done a graph looking at the spread of the coronavirus in Italy and uh, it says that the UK, France and Germany are on track to follow suit and that just the UK is only two weeks behind the spread and the level of containment. And that is a really big worry that the UK in two weeks time could have just as many cases. Absolutely. I was just coming to that, Mandy. Given uh, the trajectory so far and the number of cases that we have witnessed uh, in the UK over the last few days, there has been a rise. Uh, so what are the experts telling you about uh, the fears of uh, a situation like the one noticed in Italy? Well, the real fear is that uh, Britain is in a containment phase, but uh, really failing to contain the disease. And, uh, you know, part of it is the lack of resources, health resources. We haven't seen those quarantine situations that we did see in Italy on those early days when they quarantined most of northern Italy. That hasn't happened in the UK. And the worry is uh, that it has only led to a further spreading of the disease. Of course, the coronavirus is incredibly virulent and it means that it's very difficult to stop. Some people might have it, show no symptoms and be essentially a spreader where they're spreading to other people without even realizing it. So the virulency is one of the biggest problems in fighting it. All right, we're going to leave it there for the moment. Mandy, thanks very much for those updates.